like that, it to throw you off. Because when you when you understand that scripture, it's those who do the will of the heavenly Father. You gotta you gotta keep the commandments the best of your ability and call upon the name of Yahweh Bashan Awashai. And when you out here teaching, warn Israel not to take that chip. So you gotta you gotta fall within that lot. So if you're not falling within that lot right there, the Lord Himself gonna say, I never knew you. Because you calling up on that name. Yeah, you know the name, but you ain't doing what you're supposed to do according to the scripture. So I don't know you. But you gotta do what the scriptures say do and call up on that name. So do bless me the Holy Scriptures, man. Do out of there, man. Come. Second Ezra 16 and 70. Got it. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, your Howard. Why? It's a great insurrection. Basically, an insurrection is basically the, like the overthrowing of a uh, of a government to overthrow something. So what it is is what Esau is gonna be doing is coming after the men of the Lord that's teaching on the highway and the byway and and trying to overthrow the prophecies that the Heavenly Father set up. So he's trying to set up that new world order. Okay, that's what he's trying to set up, and two thirds gonna get caught up in it. Why he trying to go after uh, uh, the men of the Lord? Go ahead. Come. And it says, there shall be like, they shall be like madmen, sparing none. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. So if you don't got them angels protecting you, and the heavenly father protecting you, you gonna get slaughtered, because Esau ain't gonna spare none. He gonna put everything to death, man. That's his goal, to put everything to death once the most I send him out there. To kill it. The ones, the ones, the ones uh, uh, that believe in Esau in this system, he gonna put, he gonna put you to death, man. He gonna put you to death. You see? They shall be like madmen, sparing none. But and, and then you would say, well, how he gonna put you to death? Well, I tell you this. Even, even if he don't just physically kill you, he gonna give you that chip, and that's another death, and that's another sentence of death by the heavenly Father. You take that chip, you out of there. Fine. It says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none. Yeah, doing martial law. Because they're going to declare martial law because this dollar bill going to drop, man. This dollar bill going to drop, man. You're already going to the grocery store and you spend $20. You, you got two items, two or three items. Because of, uh, the value of the dollar is uh, decreasing. The dollar going to drop, man. They're trying to bring this RFID chip. Go ahead. Try. It says... They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Because you got, you got, you got, like I said, you got, when Ezra was seeing the vision, he was seeing all Israel taken. Because the, the real fear of the Lord is having the knowledge and wisdom of the understanding of the scriptures. So when Ezra was explaining what was going on, he was seeing the martial law troop that destroying, that destroying Israel, that destroying them. That's what he was seeing. Okay? But when you read on down, that's when the Lord say, look, then you shall know who my elect is. Go ahead. Which is his chosen. Come, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Yeah, because the thing about that is you got some of our people got food stored up. Okay? You got some of our people food stored, got their food stored up, and they gonna come in with the martial law troops just like they did in Katrina. They gonna come in and cast you out of your houses, man. They gonna cash you out, man. You know, and kill you. And separate you and your family, man. You know? Go ahead. It says, they shall, then shall they be known who are my chosen. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Because that's what everyone was seeing. He was just seeing the vision in the hole. And he was looking at how Israel was getting slaughtered. Okay? And like I was saying, Israel don't fear the Heavenly Father and His Son according to the scripture. They don't do that. You see? But when everyone was seeing that vision, because the fear, get that, beginning of wisdom, the fear, get that. To make my point. That's in uh, Proverbs, Proverbs 1. Kind. Yeah. Kind. Well, I'm back to my point. Because Israel don't truly fear the heavenly father and his son. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. See, they don't got that knowledge. They don't got the wisdom. Go ahead. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. See? So they don't got it. Two-thirds of our people don't got it. So when 
So when uh, uh, Ezra seen that vision, he was just bunching Israel in the hole. And he was seeing the martial law troop. And that's why uh, 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 the angel made it clear. He was like, look, for the ones who are reading it now. He said, look, then you shall know who my chosen is. Because the chosen, he elect the ones that fear the heavenly father and his son. They got the instructions of the, of the, of the King James Bible. Oh, the yeah. word of the heavenly father. Go ahead. Come In his son. And it says... Verse um, 73, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in a fire. God, go back up to 72, my point. 72, it says for Salakia, uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 72, for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Yeah, that's when brothers going to be separated, man. That's when brothers going to be separated. Go to John 16. God. John 16 to edify. 16 and 32 Behold the hour coming Yeah it's now come Slock it man it, you Got these demons Playing fast and furious uh, 16 It says uh, St. John 16 and 32 Behold the hour cometh Yeah it's now come That ye shall be scattered Every man to his own And shall leave me alone And yet I am not alone Because the father is with me So that's what it's going to be Same way the father was with Who the world entered the call Jesus The same way Yahweh Shema was shot Is going to be with his chosen Doing that uh, uh, martial law Doing the, uh, Jacob's trouble you see, go back to there. 16. Come. Come. No, this, uh, what you at? Oh, uh, yeah. Second Ezra 16 and 72. Uh, but they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. Yeah, but that's when the most I gonna lift up a. Yahweh Shemel Shah is going to lift up a standard, man. And Lord willing, Lord willing, we don't men that get the spiritual power, man. But that's when uh, the Mofi is going to intervene, man, doing that martial law, man. He's going to intervene because, you know, Esau is going to get, get some, of, some of the men of the Lord, but he ain't going to get all of them. When uh, the men of the Lord get them power, man, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Done. This is Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 3 and 13. Every man's work shall be made manifest. For the day shall declare, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Yeah, because the thing about it is, during that martial law, they're going to be pushing that, forcing that RFID chip on you in the concentration camp. So look, if, if, if you got, uh, if you're in the good graces of the heavenly Father and His Son, He's gonna have mercy on you and and reward you for doing this work. But if you deny Him, you out of there, man. Uh, you out of there. What it's gonna be? Hey, you know? That's what, hey, that's why that Philippians, man. That's a that's a beautiful scripture, man. Two and twelve, man. It's serious, man. That's a real beautiful scripture. Give me First Corinthians four and uh, thirteen. First Corinthians. Four and thirteen. Uh, all these fucking demons out here, man. Shit. <laughs> First Corinthians. First Corinthians four and thirteen says, "Being defamed." Oh. First Corinthians four, four and uh, six. Oh, by the Apollo. Puffed up. Paraphrase it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine. Oh. First Corinthians 4 and 9. All these fucking demons. I'm in this, I'm in this flesh, man. All these fucking demons are fucking irritating, man. That's why I'm acting like that, man. I'm, I'm fucking irritated, man. They everywhere, man. It says I'm fucking irritated, man. First First Corinthians 4 and 9. For I think that the most high have set forth his apostles last. As it were pointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and unto and to men. For we are fools, for Masiach's sake. But ye are wise in Masiach. We are weak, but ye are strong. 
ye are honorable, but we are despised. Son. And, and that's and that's that's this world, man. They look up to they look up to uh they make honor honor being shit like Floyd Mayweather and 50 Cent and Denzel and all that that kind of Creflo shit. Dollar. Creflo and T D T D Jake. Yeah. And Eddie Long. Them the men is looked at as honor honorable men. Flaming faggots. But them being the demons, man. Flaming faggots. They they break us under law, man. They ain't got no faith either. No. Not at all, man. They don't got the, the law of faith with believing in the Hawashi and Hawashi. They don't got that. Nope. They quick to ride by and they'll and they'll talk about look at look at look at these fools out here with these these uh dresses on. Yeah, but they don't know it tell you that the numbers 15 and 38. Supposed to have it. Matter of fact, we and the Lord Himself had on a garment like this. Well, in this in this fashion. Numbers 15 and 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. And that they put upon the fringes of the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a friend that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord Yahweh and do them. Well, that's the purpose of these garments. That's why we come out here and teach with these garments on. So Israel is it. So we're doing according to what the law says. Right. So we are keeping the law. We're doing it. You know? Right. The book of Matthew, chapter 9. Verse 19. It says, And Yahweh Shai rose and followed and followed him. And so did his disciples. Uh about the blood. It says, And behold a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years. Right. Came because behind she, him. Because, right, she was bleeding, you know. That's what it was. She had an issue. She was bleeding. She was on that cycle. She kept bleeding, right? Go ahead. And touched the hem of his garment. And touched the hem of his garment. When you look that up, they're dealing with fringes. So he had on the fringes. Look at these right here. He had on the fringes. God. You see? Well, she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. When you look up the word him or his garment, that right there let you know that he had on fringes like that. God. So the Lord himself is doing it. So they make it mockery, man. They don't go back to uh, 1 Corinthians 4 and uh, 9. 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. For I think that the Most High have set forth his apostles last. Yeah, he set forth his apostles last. Right? To come out here and warn Israel. Because it's about to be over, man. This captivity, which we're in, is about to be over. You know? And that's why we are here warning. Let you know. You know? And eventually it's gonna be a family of the word. But we are here for we are here as a sign, man. To let you know. We're suing the Psalm 74, man. Once that sign is, is gone, man, it's over with. So with that family of the word don't come, and that's that, man. The most high gonna bring his wrath on, on this place, man. Go ahead. Come. It says, For I think that the most high have set forth us, the apostles last, as it were pointed to death. Mm -hmm. For we are made a spectacle unto the world. We are made a spectacle un unto the world. Something to look at. Like entertainment. You see? Look up that word spectacle. Like entertainment, man. Something to look at. Something to gaze at. But eventually it's going to be over with, man. Greek 2302, that word spectacle, 
It's the at run. The the at run. The at run. Okay.